Hello, glorious, big, scary river that is flowing like a mofo. How the hell are you today? And what in the world is this thing? That thing says no trespassing, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to be going over there. Not even sure if I'm supposed to be standing where I'm at, but uh, yeah. I didn't cross any fences or go past any no trespassing signs, so I think I'm fine. I've got a bit of a drop, so I brought net to me. So we should be set to uh, land something, if we get something and stuff. What is going on? A urinary stash infection is me, and I am bringing back the stash thing. I kind of started slacking about it. I used to be real good about it. We used to all have just a bunch of joy and a bunch of fun with the different stash things. And now, if you comment a stash thing, the one with the most likes on the previous video will be used in the next video. If it's, it'll be used in some video. So comment your stash thing down below. Someone said one the other day that was really good. And that's what inspired me to uh, want to do this again. But I forgot what that was. So yeah, I'm going to have to organize them when I get them. When I see them and I like them, I need to put them in notes or something because my brain only has so much space and it's not a lot. Not a lot, but uh, yeah, come along with me. There is big potential here to catch something gigantic and uh, there's potential to catch a lot of fish too. So pretty excited to be here, stuff and things, but no. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, shout out to my buddy, Clinton. I fished uh, fished up the way at that current break with Clint uh, a couple weeks ago and we caught a few things. We didn't do anything great. He did catch a flathead there once somewhat recently, but not the day that we went. But there's flatheads around. And the best I could come up with was some little goldies. But this just looks like flathead structure. I've only caught one big river flathead before. And I'm hoping to catch my second big river flathead today. As long as old Goldie Bud doesn't escape. Don't escape. I got three ounces of weight on right now. I'm not sure what I have as far as bigger ones. But we'll just roll with this. For now, see if we can find some depth. Just kind of bounce this around, you know. All this looks flat heady. It also looks very snaggy. And it actually has some depth. So we'll start there. Blue catfish too. Really every species is in here, so. It's just an exciting place to be. And um, yeah, this is where we're at today. This is where we're at today. If we gotta. Here in an hour or so, if over here isn't going well. I've never fished over here, but over there, there's at least a few fish. But I wanted to try a new area to start and then we'll move over there if we uh, feel the need to. But I'm gonna try to catch a gold eye. Try to catch something. If I can catch a gold eye, then I'll throw out my other catfish pole with some cut bait somewhere. See if I can't uh, target a blue. This is deep. Real deep. But yeah, I'll let you know what happens. And stuff. Got slammed giant i think it's a flathead got absolutely hammered and i'm pretty sure it's a flathead right here on the light pole and i don't stand a damn chance absolutely slammed it though i should have dropped my live bait here please baby jesus please baby jesus stay out of the stuff definitely a flathead oh god right off the bat worst pole worst pole ever we don't stand a chance, boys and girls. We don't stand a chance. Tiny hooks, light line, light pull. And I hope I don't regret this because it's definitely gonna be my second big river flathead if I can land it. If there wasn't so much structure around, I wouldn't be worried. Man, that was so fast. That was so fast. There's just some little gold eyes right there. I haven't even moved this fish. If he just swims out away from this shit, I'll be happy. 
in this river he really could be any size oh man he hit something oh he went over this bar he's doing me a favor i don't want to horse him but i can't give him too much i'll be really stoked to catch him but i'm just happy i hooked him that was fast That was fast. I don't know what's out there. Just based on the surface though, nothing good out there. He's hitting something. Eek. Oh, yeah, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. I don't know how much to horse him. Probably not too much. As I grab my spool. Oh, please. Oh, you guys hear that? That's bad. That's bad. Ooh, we're so screwed. No, I should have dropped my goldfish there. It's like an obvious spot. He's got some big head movement. Please come out. Please come out. Please come out. I need you. He's still on something, but hopefully we can get him over it. He's still on it. He's still on though. He's still on. But he's also got to do us a favor here if we're going to land him. Oh shit. Man, that was fast. He's off. Whatever he was on was strong. Oh, that was a thousand percent of flathead. Just like, <laughs> I just wanted a gold eye. I don't think there was anything else I could have done. If I would have dropped my goldfish there, he would have ate it though. That's the only thing I wish I would have done differently. Man, that was, that was big. That was big. On a catfish pole, we would have got him for sure, but that was like just a couple minutes in. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Damn. I'm not gonna put it in the same spot because they're kind of territorial fish. But we are gonna move it closer to this wall with the current pushing into it and stuff. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. All right. insane oh my gosh that will wake you up that will wake you up god dang it i knew from the second it bit too i just knew felt like it absolutely engulfed it too ball sacks <laughs> You win some, you lose some. <laughs> we lost that one. We definitely lost that one. Alrighty, boys and girls. After 10 minutes of throwing lures, I've realized that uh, even if I do hook something on a lure, I am screwed. Still might be screwed on that night crawler pole over there, but we got uh, double catfish poles going and stuff. Kind of a midday recap intro midday update something or other 
even though I've only been here for uh, 15 minutes. That hurts. That was a fish that uh, would have made the entire day great, and I hooked it on the wrong pole. I'm not sure what else I could have done better or differently besides just dropping a goldfish right there. But as far as fighting it goes, I didn't do anything too crazy. I just got my ass kicked. I don't know how big it was, but based on the head shakes, it fell to over 20. Could have been a uh, big river 40 pounder for all I know. But I do know a lot. I've caught a lot of flatheads. Got a lot of flatheads on artificials. I know what they feel like. And that thing had some ridiculous head shakes. So yeah, we're just gonna kind of sit here and wait now. Not really my favorite type of fishing. I like to be moving and doing something. Otherwise my tiny brain gets bored. But for now, that's what we're doing because it seems the safest. Hopefully we can get on bit on the crawler. We should be able to and yeah. Hopefully we can catch something and stuff. fish I got a fish I needed a fish too all right what was the last update oh yeah the sad update I'm not gonna fish with lures update I uh, put on a jig head crawler I only brought three goldfish down from the truck because I didn't think that uh, I would be losing as many goldfish as I am but yeah I have a catfish pole that's not in the water right now because I don't have any bait well I didn't have any bait now I have bait it's legal to use channel cats as bait in Nebraska. Just goes towards your limit, so I can't use very many of them. But I think it's five or ten. I'll have to look once we get there. But we'll assume it's five, and then once we hit five, if we hit five, then we'll look it up. But I have caught flatheads on channel cats before, so that's what I'm going to try to do. Oh, that one just clicked. I don't think the goldfish could make it click. I could be wrong. <clears throat> we'll just assume that Goldie made it click. Out in this region is almost unfishable. There's a snag that that flathead that I hooked on the uh, blade bait got into. So we're just hanging tight to this wall. We haven't lost any of our catfish rigs. But every time we throw it out kind of far, we... Uh, we certainly run into problems. Like I said, haven't lost the rigs, which is great. Weights ain't cheap, hooks ain't cheap. No catfish sponsor yet. And um, yeah, so at least we kept our tackle. But we're pretty limited as to where we can throw without expecting disaster. Carolina rig crawler didn't do shit, same thing. It was just kind of getting snagged, so I took it out. And yeah, that's what we're doing. Hopefully we can get redemption for the big boy. Who knows how big, but I do know that it was big and stuff. And that's a fish. Better fish. Damn, it's a gar. <laughs> I did not feel him bite. And it is a long nose. Damn. We'll take him. We will take him. Probably shouldn't put him in my brand new net, but we're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. I thought I was just snagged. Oh, we lost him. That's all right. I didn't really want him to tear up my net anyway. Man, I'm glad the jig head crawler's working. I don't even care what it is. I am just in pain. <laughs> Tell me it'll get better. What is that? Tell me it'll get better. What would a gar do to a rubber net? Would that gar have just ripped up the rubber net? I was thinking about netting him and then trying to eat him. I know people say that long nose gar tastes good anyway. But seriously, what would he do to my rubber frable net? Would he rip it to shreds? Or is the rubber better than the fabric, rope, what have you? Or is it worse? I would think the plastic 
or the rubber would be better. Maybe. Yeah, who cares? He didn't go in the net anyway, so it's neither here nor there, but this jig head crawler just bouncing it right at my feet sure seems to be working. When it seemed like nothing would work after that first fish. So I'm pretty pleased with it. I think that was another one. Oh, there's something anyway. Anyway, I'll shut up, see how many species we can catch and stuff. Both crawler poles getting hit. This one's still got it. Got whatever it is. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Is it the one, the only, L Drummer Boy? I actually haven't caught a drum on the Missouri River for a while. And in typical Drummer Boy fashion, he swallowed it. And he's nothing too exciting, but he is the first fish in the net. Second fish we've landed. And he's getting us closer to feeling better about ourselves after uh, completely failing on that flathead. I guess, like I said, I didn't fail. Just a bad scenario that ended up ending bad, I suppose. There's a lot of endings and that didn't really make any sense, but you get the point. All right, I'm not going to take 48 million glorified videos and shots of this dude, but... And that was a terrible release, but we will take him. Species number four that we've hooked. We've hooked four fish, and we've hooked four species. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Kind of reaching, but pretty sweet. And it seems like there's a steady flow of fish that are getting pushed up against this wall. Obviously, the flathead was probably like native. Like he was just sitting here waiting for shit like the drum bud coming in. Maybe that flathead was big enough to eat the drum bud, but everyone thinks you need big bait for big fish. And I hooked that big fish on the smallest blade bait I own, which is a quarter ounce. And I bet that he could have ate that drum bud. So yeah, small stuff works too. Makes it harder to land them, but it works. Land stuff. Alrighty, boys and girls. Well, I didn't get my redemption today, but I am going to come back tomorrow. And I'm going to try to get my redemption tomorrow with, uh, with a live bait and a catfish pole, hopefully. But uh, at least... At least on a beefier lure pole or something. What's what's the relationship advice? It has nothing to do with the beefier pole or whatever I was talking about, but more or less, uh, it's better to have loved than to never have loved at all or some cheesy shit. I don't know. But I would have rather caught that flathead, lost it, and lost my blade bait than that never happening, because then if that didn't happen, I wouldn't have came back for just the fish I caught on a night crawler. The jig head night crawler was fun, but eventually it just stopped working. I don't know. Bite windows and shit, but if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. Thanks for making it to the end. Really appreciate it. See you later. Stuff, thanks. Pew, pew. Bye.